In this session, we'll look into using Windows Mobile Device Center via Bluetooth as an alternative to using a USB cable. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we'll do is prepare our handheld for the Bluetooth connection. Here, I'll go to the Start menu on the handheld. I'll go to Settings. I'll go to Connections, Wireless Manager. Okay, from here, I'll go to Menu, Bluetooth Settings, and I'll go to the Mode tab. I want to make sure that Turn Bluetooth On and make this device visible to other devices is enabled. Okay, after this, I'll just go back to the Devices tab and I'll leave it there for now. At this point, I'm ready to go on my computer and make sure that the, um, the Bluetooth connection is ready. Okay, to do this, I'm gonna come down to my taskbar at the bottom of my screen and I'm gonna look for the hidden icons uh, up arrow right here. And I'm gonna click on the Bluetooth icon right here and I'm going to go to add Bluetooth device okay so I'm simply going to click the add button and I'll add a Bluetooth device and it'll take just a second to search and find all the Bluetooth devices near me okay I noticed this one here is the uh, is my handheld so I'll click on that and it'll choose connecting and it'll say enter this pin and immediately I'll be prompted on my handheld device to connect and enter this same pass key. Okay, once the pass key has been entered and you need to do it really quickly, <laughs> um, you're ready to go. We'll hit done. Back on the handheld screen, you will get a prompt that the device is connected and you will need to make one slight adjustment. Okay, back on the handheld device in the devices tab, in the Bluetooth manager, you'll see that the, uh, the my laptop shows up here as connected. Okay. Now, what I need to do is I'm going to tap on that device, and I'm going to make sure that Active Sync is set as one of the services. Once I've done that, I'll hit Save, and now I'm going to OK out of the um, out of the Bluetooth manager. Okay, <clears throat> and I'm ready to. Uh, I'm ready to connect up via Bluetooth with ActiveSync. So now the next step for me is to open ActiveSync or Windows Mobile Device Center on my PC and initiate the connection. Okay, back in Windows Mobile Device Center, I'm going to go to Connection Settings. And I'm going to be sure that Allow Connections to one of the following Bluetooth is selected here, and I'll hit OK. Okay, now to initiate the connection on the handheld, I have to do one other thing. And this is, click on the Start menu on the handheld and look for an app called ActiveSync. Open it up, go to Menu, and then Connect via Bluetooth. Once this is done, it should initiate my connection. It will probably take longer than normal than it used to with a cable the first time around, uh, but after that, it should go fairly smoothly. Okay. I'm connecting. And there I go. I'll connect without setting up device. I go to file management. And here you can see all the files and folders that are on the mobile device. Okay, when it's time to disconnect, what you'll want to do is back on the handheld device, you'll go back to ActiveSync. Once you go to the menu, you'll see disconnect, and this will disconnect your connection. Hope this helps.